This tutorial describes the protocol for setting up and counter microRNA hybridization reactions. To set up your hybridizations, you will need four things. You'll need your samples processed with the microRNA sample preparation protocol, which is described in another tutorial video. You will need a tube of the Encounter microRNA capture probe set and a tube of the microRNA reporter code set, which is stored at minus 80 degrees C. And finally, you will need the Encounter hybridization buffer. This is supplied in a tube in the master kit stored at room temperature along with the tips and tubes. Note that the capture probe and reporter probe are supplied in separate tubes and that each tube is enough to set up 12 hybridizations. It is also important to note that the capture probes and reporter probes are long linear nucleic acid molecules labeled with fluorescent dyes that are just barely soluble. Therefore, do not vortex tubes containing capture probes or reporter probes and do not spin tubes containing capture probes or reporter probes at more than 1,000 Gs. We recommend using only a benchtop picofuge for centrifuging tubes containing the reporter probes and capture probes. Each hybridization will take place in a total of 30 microliters volume. In these 30 microliters, 10 microliters will be made up of reporter probes, 10 microliters by hybridization buffer, 5 microliters of your sample, and then finally 5 microliters will be made up of the capture probes. However, we will use a master mix of reporter probes and hybridization buffer to eliminate pipetting variabilities. To set up this master mix, add 130 microliters of hybridization buffer to the thawed tube of reporter probes. Note that we recommend adding the hybridization buffer directly to the tube of reporter probes to eliminate transfer losses of reporter probes into subsequent tubes. Mix gently by repeatedly inverting the tube and then spin it down in the picofuge to collect everything down to the bottom of the tube. Add 20 microliters of the reporter probe hybridization buffer master mix to each tube in a strip of tubes. We recommend using only the strip tubes that Nanostring supplies since these are the ones of which the prep station has been calibrated to work with. Add a 5 microliter aliquot from the sample prepared according to the microRNA sample preparation protocol to each tube. Be sure to denature the samples for 5 minutes at 85 C and then quick cool them on ice before adding them to the hybridization reaction. Tap the tubes gently to mix the hybridization buffer and reporter probes with the sample that you've just added. The very last step in setting up your encounter hybridization is to add 5 microliters of capture probe to each one of the tubes that you have sample in. It is important to add the capture probe last, just before the tubes go into the hybridization temperature, to ensure there are no complexes which form nonspecifically which can lead to a greatly increased background. After adding capture probe, put caps on the tubes, flick the tubes gently to mix the components in, the, in each one of the different tubes, and then spin it down briefly in the picofuge to collect everything to the bottom of the tube. Put the tubes in the PCR machine and start the incubation program if it hasn't already started. Make sure that the heated lid feature is activated and that the lid is at temperature before closing it down over the tubes. The tubes will now incubate at 65 degrees for at least 12 hours and up to 36 hours. If you cannot process the samples the next morning, it is best to leave the hybridizations at 65 degrees. They are stable at this temperature and it is far better to leave them at 65 degrees than to put them at 4 degrees or freeze them at minus 20. After an overnight incubation, Check each one of the tubes to make sure that there hasn't been evaporation overnight. Spin down the tubes briefly in a picofuge to collect any condensation down to the bottom of the wells and proceed to processing on the prep station.